Hey, how are you doing? Uh, so have you heard the greatest and latest about MCP servers? Well, Auth0 just launched our new official MCP server and I can't wait to show you how it works. Well, if you are new to MCPs, MCP is sent for Mondo Context Protocol, and it's basically a way for those AI-powered applications like Cursor, Windsurf, and Cloud Desktop, and so on, to talk to APIs. Uh, and we launched ours, our Auth0 MCP server, which means that now these applications can have superpowers and actually manage your tenant resources for you. I particularly find that interesting because that means that I don't have to interrupt my flow while I'm coding to go into the Auth0 dashboard and set up an application uh, so I can do everything in my code editor of choice. And today my code editor of choice is Cursor. So let's jump right in and see how that works. And here I have my terminal. Okay, so I'm using NPX. I want to run this application. Well, this package, uh, which is called out zero and it's called the out zero MCP server. Uh, if I can type, that would be great. Um, now I'm going to use a command in it, uh, which basically will set up the configuration for my client. And in this case, I want to set up for cursor. So I'm going to give that and press enter. And then I need to select all of the scopes that I want to use. I want to give this power to do everything. So I'm going to select all of them and then click enter. And now what I need to do is to make sure that this code here is the same one that is going to show on my browser. Once I click enter and it is great and I can confirm. So basically this is device authorization flow. I'm going to continue with Google because I'm already logged in and I can select the tenant that I want to use and I can accept it. And if everything goes well, yes, uh, we can go back and restart cursor. In that case, open cursor. I don't have it open yet. So opening, um, well, it loads. Let's open the chat because I want to talk to it. Uh, well, let me make this bigger. And then I'm going to double check that the MCP server configuration is there. So I'm going to click on the settings and then MCP servers. And yes, it's here, it's enabled. I can refresh it if I want to. Let me just give it another zoom. And I'm going to open this application that I have here, which is a fast API web app. Uh, it is one of our sample applications here at Zero. Let me just yeah, run this. And if we go into the browser and access localhost, well, it just is a simple login application. Well, the internal server error there is expected is because I haven't put in any information about that zero. So let me copy. Okay. And once I hit send, it's going to ask me to confirm that I want to run this too. So it identified the out zero MCP server already, and it's going to show me the parameters it's going to use to make the calls. Let me double check. Okay. Can run the two. Now, what it's going to do is basically uh, use the MCP server to talk to Auth0 and create the application. It's going to give me back some information and then update my config file. And then, um, two, three, let's go. Okay, uh, it's updating and so I can accept the change and basically has the information for the client ID and client secret. It's going to show a little bit more information, but let me restart this server so that we can see the change. And if I go back to the browser, refresh. Okay, now log in and it works. No internal server error. Good. Let me log in with this user that I have here. And da -da -da, it works. Great. So now you saw that the Auth0 MCP server works and I didn't even have to interrupt my flow and go all the way to the Auth0 dashboard, which for me personally is a great option. Uh, so I'm looking forward to see what you're going to do and how you're going to build your applications from now on. And hopefully everything will be even easier for you to make your applications secure with Auth0. I'm looking forward to hearing, well, reading your comments and your questions down below. Also check out the description of this video uh, to, you know, grab the links and we'll read the blog posts and all the guys that we put out for you for you to read and learn more okay see you on the next one bye